Hello and welcome to this episode of Bernadette TV where we are talking about how to reveal your price with confidence. When people say to you, how much do you charge? Are you quaking in your shoes? Are you embarrassed? Are you nervous about what they're going to say? Are you stuttering as you get the words out? Well, today's episode is really going to help you because we're going to show you how to reveal your price with confidence. So let's start with considering how you buy. Like when you're the consumer, maybe going into a retail outlet, for example, and you're doing a bit of shopping, what do you do? Do you look at the products first or do you look at the price tags first? So it's been shown that less than 10% of buyers, and this isn't just in retail, this is, you know, products and services and businesses, less than 10% of buyers have price as the most important factor. And, you know, if you were someone who in a retail environment looked at the, the price tags first, then retailers would pick up on that. And what they would do is simply show you a collection of price stickers by the door. Now, they don't do that. In fact, if you've been in a department store recently, you know that lots of effort goes into presenting the product nicely and make it easy for you to find what you're looking for and positioning the products. And, you know, that this is because this works better for how people truly make buying decisions. People aren't making the buying decisions solely on price. You need to know that. So you don't shop that way. And you need to remember that neither do the people that you have identified as your perfect clients. So, yeah, of course, your prospects wants to know the price. But unless that price is preceded by a list of the benefits that they're going to get from this product or service, they have nothing to gauge that price against. So do not be lured into premature price presentation. Premature price presentation. Hey, I got it right. So don't be lured into that. In fact, if someone starts the conversation by saying, how much do you charge or how much is, is it? Prepare a stock answer that you can have in situations like that. So, for example, I say something like this. I'll be happy to explain all my prices to you. But just before I do, let me ask you one or two questions. And then I launch straight in with my first question. And that's a way of delaying the conversation about price till I've had a chance to gather information about the situation and then make recommendations, tailoring the benefits to them. So here are five more things that will help you to reveal your price with confidence. So the first thing you need to do is understand their needs. You need to take time to understand their situation, uncover the cost and pain that they're experienced by being stuck in this current situation, and also what it will mean to them and what the payoff will be in every sense of the word, financially, physically, intellectually, emotionally, from moving to the desired solution that you have for them. So that's step number one. Step number two is then to present your solution. So to show them how what you have to offer them will help them get from point A to point B, how it's going to move them out of this, this painful situation that they're in or this circumstance that they have, and it's going to take them towards their desired end result. So you want to do a very benefit-laden presentation that is really emphasizing the transformation that's on offer, the journey from point A to point B. Okay, so step three is to really emphasize the benefits. You want to make sure you do this right before you reveal the price. So you don't just talk about the journey that they're going to go on. You don't just talk about the transformation from point A to point B. You also want to show them what that is going to do for them. So spend some time showing them the consequences of this fantastic desired end results they're going to get. You must, must, must emphasize the benefits. So now finally, we're at step four, and this is where you introduce the price. So look, you have to do all those three things before we even got to this point. And that's because it is said that an ounce of pre-frame is worth a ton of reframe. So you've had the opportunity really to set the context for the price that you're about to reveal. And this, doing those three steps, is the difference between someone hearing your price and getting sticker shock and going, oh, how much? That's so expensive. Versus hearing the price and going, okay, wow, well, you know, that's maybe more expensive than I was hoping for, but 
it's reasonable to pay considering it's going to do all of those things. That reaction, I want you to know that is within your control. It's about all of the things you do before you get to the point of revealing your price. So revealing your price with confidence is really about doing all of that stuff before you get to this point. And now the final step, you've revealed your price. You need to give a clear direction on what the next step is. So you don't want to leave them just thinking about the price, give them an instruction, give them a direction. So whether you're selling from an event, from a sales page, in person, you give really clear directions and instructions on what they need to do to say yes. That could be in a face-to-face presentation, you get the paperwork out and you start filling out the form. It could be if you're selling from an event, you get a form, you get an order form into their hands and you tell them to start filling it out. If you are selling from a webinar, you would give lots of direction on how to reach the buy button and you'd send them to that page and you'd show them that page and clear instruction. Don't assume that your prospect knows what to do. They need that direction and it has to come from you. So as you can see, when you incorporate these five relatively easy steps into your sales conversations, whether you are selling one-to-one or one-to-many, whether you're selling from a web page, whether you're selling in person, as you start to incorporate into this, you are gonna get more people to say yes. So I urge you to take action right now. What is the first thing that you can do to incorporate this into your sales conversation? Is there an email you need to send? Is there a person you need to phone? Is there uh, something you need to rewrite for your sales page? Is there a change you need to make to your webinar? Go do it now. Do not leave the site of a decision without taking action, as Tony Robbins would say. And if you have a comment about how this video has helped you, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below. So that's it from me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV. Hello. You. Yes, you. Yes, you. If you like my mummy's videos, my mummy is Bernadette Doyle by the way, you need to hit the subscribe button or the like button. It would be very appreciated.